Now, this is a question that, that's been raised by several people. Is it ethical to experiment with someone's brain? Well, it's an ongoing debate. Some are in favor of it, while others think differently. Elon Musk, who is known for his ambitious goals like colonizing Mars and also saving humanity, his ambition for Neuralink is related to exactly tinkering with how the brain functions. Remember, Neuralink is a company that he launched in 2016 and it is developing a brain chip interface that it says can enable disabled patients to move and communicate again. Moreover, the company also expects to begin human clinical trials in the next six months. We've been working hard to uh, be ready for our first human and obviously we want to be extremely careful uh, and certain that, that it will work well before putting a device in a human. But we're, we've submitted, I think, most of our paperwork to the FDA and we're, we're, we think probably in about six months we should be able to have our first neural link in a human. Well, first we'll have to understand the complexity of the brain. There are about 86 billion neurons in our brains. And these neurons send and receive information through electric signals. That later helps us to control our body. Be it to speak, look or even move our body. And Musk, who was giving a presentation about Neuralink's ambition, said that the chip will allow the brain to control complex electronic devices and eventually will allow people with paralysis to regain motor function and also treat brain disease such as Parkinson's, dementia and Alzheimer's. As of now, the company will be able to insert a chip inside of a monkey who will, was able to control the computer with his thoughts. Now look at these visuals. And um, here you can see uh, Sake, it's one of our other monkeys, uh, typing on a keyboard. But now he's, it, this is telepathic typing. So to be clear, this is the, he's, he's not actually using a keyboard. He's moving a, a, the cursor with his mind uh, to the highlighted key. The Neuralink's last public presentation, which was more than a year ago, involved a monkey with a brain chip that played a computer game by thinking alone. Now, as part of such examples, Neuralink is yet to gain the U.S. Food and Drug Administration or the FDA's approval to start human trials, which remains a hurdle for Musk and also for Neuralink's ambitions.